Hello and welcome back. In this lecture, we will be looking at backup encryption options that we have. So when we talk about Azure Recovery Service Vault, we will have the backup. Uh, there are two different methods to take the backup. And by default, all these backups are protected with AES-256 encryption transmitted uh, to the Azure Backup uh, Vault using uh, secure HTTPS communication. Azure backups are encrypted at the rest by default. There is no configuration necessary to enable the feature. Uh, now, there are a couple of different things we need to be aware of the based on uh, what we are taking, how we are taking the backup uh, with Azure uh, Recovery Service Vault. Now, on-premises backups are uh, using a phrase uh, configured uh, that's a phrase word will be a lengthy phrase word uh, will be configured when installing the backup client in fact we are going to demonstrate that uh, within this uh, lecture when you install a agent called backup agent on on that uh, servers where you want to you know take a backup or azure backup server when it is registering um, your connection with the recovery service key vault uh, with the phrase is generated that is required to restore and um, decrypt that specific data upon restoration uh, steps as your uh, virtual machines they are configured uh, rest by default using storage service encryption uh, which is discussed in the previous lectures and i have an example here for example if i just go to uh, recovery vault uh, you see here you have the backup option where you can actually run the backup or the recovery so uh, if I just click on a backup I can actually choose any of the VM uh, directly from uh, virtual machine for example and select the backup I have a default policy which will talk about you know retain for the snapshots all that but um, this is a by default and I just have to choose the a VM name and if I just enable backup which is going to take automatically backup of this VM but I'm not going to do this uh, I can also show you the same steps can be done from the VM so I'm just on the VM uh, and if you just go to the backup again um, within the navigation here in the left side you have a backup option this is where actually you can choose um, your backup or you can create your uh, recovery key vault service uh, as a completely new but in our case we have already existing one if not you can create a new one uh, giving a name and then enable backup that would actually takes the backup this is a method one how about uh, taking a backup for on-premises this is when you want to take the backup code you have to select what folders uh, or what type of backup you want to take from your on-premises machine so in my case I'm taking files and folders and system state and uh, once I have to select it that I need to you know follow follow total five different steps the first one is to download the agent uh, which I'm going to install that download agent on my on-premises machine and during the installation it's going to ask the secure uh, key vault registration key so which would uh, you need to you know accept here uh, the second checkbox and then you need to you know download so in this case the first one I'm going to download and I'll just copy this uh, downloaded file here and I'll I'll just save here for some time and then I'll copy this to my on-premises uh, domain controller example I'm going to take a, a machine uh, where I'm going to install this and once I downloaded the first one I am accepting that uh, I need to download the credentials so that these credentials will be used to connect to my key vault services so I'll use that key vault services specific um, one and then I'm going to actually install these the step 3 and 4 and 5 is nothing but an installation so this is my on-premises VM virtual machine and I'm going to log in and then I'll simply copy pasted these files actually so I'll simply uh, install this MSI file which I got it or the exe file um, this is the default steps I'm gonna take it so click on next next and then uh, I would be installing this agent and post to the installation it gonna it's gonna ask me to show the credentials or connection uh, specific uh, details so that was downloaded in the previous step that's a step two so we will be showing that post to that it's going to ask you to 
uh, write or give your own uh, phrase or it's going to generate automatically a key so this is where it's asking for the key vault uh, credentials so these are the key vault credentials which were downloaded in the step two i'm going to uh, show that post to that encryption settings will come up so this lecture is all about the encryption so this is where it's going to ask you so minimum the 16 characters or phrases required uh, if you cannot give a 16 characters random number or random strong key uh, or alphanumerical number then uh, you can generate by clicking on generate freeze so it's going to generate for you uh, and then whatever the key was generated post to that based on these um, key value it's going to actually ask you to you know where do you want to save this key because with this key only you can recover the data when you're trying to recover face so that's where it's very important so what we're going to do is we are going to save on our desktop these recovery uh, phrase and that uh, phrase uh, definitely we cannot uh, we cannot uh, store on desktop for a longer time so the better way would be to store in a key vault so we are going to save this key in a key vault services as part of this demo so i have actually automatically it got saved that's where and if you lost your data is lost so that's a phrase key that's very important key so what i'm going to do is um, i'm not going to work with the backup at this point of time but instead I i'm going to register the secret key as a secret key uh, in a key vault and then I would be using that uh, value in the key vault. So I'll just go back to my Azure portal and then uh, these are the step three and four five uh, completed. So I'll just go to key vault. I have the two key vault services out of that. I'll use one of the key vault and then uh, I'll go to the seek, uh, secret and that's where I'm going to create a new secret here. So I'll just choose my KV2211 demo. Uh, which we used in the previously I'll just go to the secrets and I'll um, click on uh, generate or import I'll just copy paste that value here in my notepad so I give a meaningful name here so that you know that why the secret key is used or what it actually storing so VM backup my computer name that's what I have given uh, the phrase uh, value that's a value which is generated automatically and then I'm not going to set as an expire or all that but instead I'll just click on create and the later point uh, it's better to tag it so that you know why you're using this so I'm going to tag uh, with a specific uh, value so in my case I wanted to use here like a specific backup or maybe I can also say another tag maybe for my vault name specific and then give the uh, these values uh, as your tags and then save it so like uh, my machine name is a yes, backup machine name is an HYD and click on save so I know that um, this specific secret is used for that and if you want to you know uh, see what is the value uh, show secret that that's gonna show you the same phrase that we entered so click on save this is how you're gonna securing your backup um, specific encryption keys. I hope this lecture is useful for you. Thank you for watching this.